What's up, kids? We're testing something right now. Stick around. We're testing something a little bit different um, right now this time. It's gloves. I'm gonna have them right there. Ain't you? I think so it's pronounced. Anyway, uh, they, we've been holding on to this for a little bit because it's been you know, 60 degrees. Today, it is not. It is 36 out there. So uh, we're gonna be, they sent me some pretty cool, they're like kind of ski type gloves and they've got a special feature. They got a special feature right, right here. Got a good old pocket for whatever you want to put in there. Piece candy. Both sides. So what we're going to do, we're going to do a little winterizing on the uh, lawn equipment. And we're just going to use these. Got a Velcro strap too. And... These guys, now we are going to be putting these to test through the winter too as we're snow blowing. We're going to be winterizing the lawnmower. Lawnmowers. We're going to be putting these to the test now. I'm going to be wearing them because it's 36 degrees. Those are metal and it's cold. All right, so well, let's put uh, put these guys to the test. I am going to put a link to the product down in the description. And I'm also going to uh, Yep, that's what I'm gonna do. Down in the description. We better do something. Okay, here we go. Now we gotta get out to the shed so we can do the things that we need to do. Yeah. It's windy today. I'm having a little problem with the door. Hold on a second. Got it fixed. You know how you fix that? Hammer. All right. If you can hear the wind, it's definitely happening. Now, well, we are into Parts Depot 1.0. Well, this was not a Parts Depot, is it? Yeah, there's. there used to be. What we're going to do is back this up and uh, I'm going to do a little uh, getting ready and then uh, bring it back in to give these gloves a super awesome test. It's quite not warm in here. Um, we're going to be disconnecting the battery. I have two options, a 12 and a 13 and uh, definitely not a, that one's not that one. That was a 12. Mm -hmm. Neither of these. It's an 11. I wasn't messing around this time. Okay. So we're going to be doing that. Uh, the also... The also... <laughs> now, let's get those gloves on because little paws are cold. Gloves actually also have a special secret. It's more than just a pocket. Actually, you pull it out and it... Uh, it's like that. I'm going to be using that, I'll tell you what, come uh, winter time. I was just spoofing with the pockets. I mean, you could put stuff in there if you're not using it, but that's why when they asked which ones I was interested in, I'm like, hey, I got snow to move. Now, they're a little bit snug on my hands, but you know, I have bigger gorilla paws. So these are the 2X. They're just a little bit, a little snug here. In here but that's not the gloves fault that's my hands so now what we're gonna do read it over here also it's a touch screen so I can touch stuff yeah anyway right there they sent us um, two other pairs as well but uh, those are for the girls so they sent they sent that for the girls, which is pretty cool. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna see if we got any juice. Yep. 
Yeah, we do. We have juice. That's pretty cool. Not a lot of fuel in there. That's good. That's good. Okay. So now what I want to do is I want to take the gas can off. Put the lid on the gas can. Yep. Stick around a second. And we're back. I had to run into the shop real quick. I'll tell you what, these things are super warm. Time to do a little fuel draining. You just put it in the fuel though. Okay. You get it. <laughs> Let's see in a minute. Now the next thing we do is we put a little bit of fuel stabilizer in the thing there in the tank because you're not gonna get it all. And then we'll put that back on here. Now you want to make sure that you've got plenty of ventilation out of the door open and one of the windows open in the shed here. Man, these are nice. <laughs> well, I guess the battery's done. <laughs> That's okay. That's fine. Maybe we'll just tighten that up. Let's try it. Now, if you do spill some fuel, if you spill some fuel, you might want to make sure that you put some floor dry on there uh, to clean it up. And then you're going to want to come in and clean that up even better in the next couple of days. Now, I want to make sure that gets all soaked up. We don't come out here too much. So, we got that. We got this one taken care of. So, let's bring it back around. Let me tell you something. These gloves right here did fantastic. My hands are not cold. They didn't bunch up. They were a little bit snug here because that's the size of my hand and not just the but these are very warm when I walked out there the wind nothing so I will say this they'll be down in the um, down description link right to these um, so let's go back to the shop and we'll bring it back around to that or whatever I'm saying right now <laughs> yeah you get it all right kids like I said this is a little bit different review than we normally do but I'm telling you what, as somebody who lives up in a cold climate, these gloves right here. These are a win. Honest Paint and Speed Shop approved. We will be doing uh, a couple more of these. A couple more of these because um, we've got um, Melissa and Peyton are going to do theirs too about how they what they what they feel like the. On the other two are because those are definitely not not for me so anyway these are also hold on they do have 3m uh thin slate uh lining in there see that and now you of course you can use these for skiing or whatever but i'm going to be using these for um outside stuff because I need them for outside stuff because it's getting to be winter time. And don't forget that pocket, right? Covers them up. Super excited to try these out as we get to more extreme temperatures. Now I will be doing a, a real cold weather review of them uh, coming up, but I just wanted to kind of tell you, hey, these are these are pretty pretty darn good. They didn't limit my range of motion or anything when I was working out there, so that's cool. Remember, right there. Down the thing, right there, on the thing. Hope you enjoyed this little removing the fuel and showing how you just do that <laughs> and then uh, take the battery out and stuff. So do not forget to check out those gloves because I'll tell you what, wonderful, 
<laughs> movement. Not wrong. Check them out. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Do the thing. Do the ding. Wow, wow, wow. Keep on wrenching.